Let's talk body yada yada yada. Hi, my name is Ariel. I'm 25 years old. I love making content and videos on the internet. I don't know what else to say about myself. I'm still just trying to figure shit out. I watched Olivia DeAndre's newest video, and that was actually the first video I ever watched of hers. It was hard not to dislike myself. And I was like, oh my god. Girl, me too. I'm not sure what ethnicity Olivia is, but I'm Vietnamese. And I also grew up with a fat phobic family. Just Asian things, I guess. Like being fat is the worst thing you could ever do. Nothing prepares you for the way that people would treat you after you become fat. I started getting conscious of my body when I was just six years old. Can you believe that? Six years old. And it was mainly because growing up, my oldest sister would get shamed by my parents and they would make her constantly diet. At that time, when I was six, she was only 12 years old. Years old. That's when I started equating skinny with good and fat is bad. And when I was six years old, I was super, super small. I could fit into cabinets, and when I bent over, you can see my spine, and I thought that was a really good thing. So now we get into my middle school, and I hate myself. I was bullied really bad, and my body started changing, and I felt so uncomfortable. It's crazy because at that time, I was only 130, 135 pounds. I used to journal a lot, and in my diary, I would literally write out so many goals about how I would be so happy after I lost weight. I would become popular i would have more friends start a youtube channel boys would like me back and all these goals place a happiness on this version of myself that i had in my head i would have xyz whenever i get my dream body so i was like okay in high school it's gonna be so different i'm gonna change my life i'm gonna lose weight over the summer and go into high school glowed up as a new person in high school i still wasn't the weight that i wanted to be i would spend so much time in the garage working out i was watching blog gelatis fitness blender like any home workout video i was doing Doing them in college i started gaining more weight i'm growing up i was around 150 to like 170 pounds i was actually okay with myself at that time i was also wearing a lot of makeup so i was like okay if i'm not happy with my body i can put on some makeup to make myself feel better it's really crazy to me how i was dreaming about having my high school body back when i was in my college body because in my high school body i was smaller but at the same time when i was in high school i still hated my body i was wishing to go back to these times even though those times i wasn't even happy with myself i will say say college was like my baddie era i would get so many compliments from people my confidence was because of external things i really liked olivia's video when she explained how when you place your happiness on external things and internally you're not happy with yourself when those external things are taken away or when those external things change you no longer become happy so let me explain college was rough for me too i also hated college i hated middle school i hated college maybe i just hate my life i'm kidding <laughs> i was really stressed out and after the pandemic when I stopped working, I wasn't a bartender anymore and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life I was just going through it and I gained even more weight and I reached 200 pounds One of the movies that I watched was 200 pound beauty And I felt like that movie really tainted the idea of being 200 pounds like nobody liked her My life became such a mess. I stopped going out. I stopped wearing makeup I was moving from a shitty apartment to another shitty apartment. I graduated college, but I was getting rejected at every job I applied for and it got to the point where I would look at myself in the mirror and I didn't recognize who I was seeing and guess what I also did I started mourning my college body I wasn't happy in my high school body I wasn't happy in my college body and now I felt sad because I didn't have any of those I was left with what I have felt my whole life that I was ugly during this time to make myself feel better i was like you know what let me go back into doing what i love doing which is making content and making a tiktok this is when tiktok kind of like blew up i started getting hate comments about me being fat and i was a cow and whatever i was like did i just damage myself more already non-existent self-confidence tanks mm. again and i'm thinking okay you know what i need to spend time with family tell me why i go to my family's like during thanksgiving and it was even worse they hit my feelings harder than the strangers online i was just so bad for my family and i'm like now y'all wonder why i don't come often at that time i really cared about what my family thought and it got to the point where i was doing the old habits i used to do stop eating and then i would spiral and then i would binge i was just so ashamed of myself i felt so sad because i thought i overcame it and that i was better and i was doing better and then just like that it's hating yourself to the point where you don't even want to be here anymore like you don't want to be alive and it sounds scary and it is scary i was treated so differently from my family and how society viewed me all the years of me hating myself added up just existing felt so hard every day i would wake up and i'm just like i don't want to be in my body anymore i don't want to be me like i would wish i would wake up and be somebody else damn i haven't felt this way since middle school so what about now how do i feel about myself 
myself now self-love does not happen overnight and i'm gonna be honest with you i still struggle with it i kept on imagining how good it would feel to finally love myself beyond my body beyond anything outside like how does it feel to just love me i really had to sit with this it's 2024 so obviously it took me time to get there last month when i weighed myself i was 222 pounds the heaviest i've been but the happiest i've been i finally like myself and love myself without anything that i had to prove or do to myself i started seeing my body as my best friend i've treated her bad i have insulted her and she has still woken me up every single day anytime i've cried anytime oh i'm about to cry right now somebody who has not given up on me and i don't want to give up on her that was the shift in the mindset that i had now when i get mean comments i can also stand back and reflect and know that it's because they're in a place where they feel like they have to project their insecurities onto me there's not a problem with me there was never a problem with me if i never achieve this dream body i'm still gonna be okay i'm gonna still be happy last month i also did get my blood work and that was my first time i ever got blood work done it was really an eye-opener because i realized i have not been eating as healthy as i should be it has motivated me to become more active add more fruits and veggies i don't calorie count now i have just been enjoying my health journey for my health not for how i look and i have this routine that just makes me happy i love taking walks okay and it's like super crazy i've lost five pounds and i didn't even really try it was just me incorporating healthier things into my life if the scale goes down if the scale goes up i don't really mind i just want to have better scores if i'm healthy then i'm good with that gaining weight has taught me how to love myself beyond the physical and love myself internally i know that sounds cheesy but that's the truth i used to care so much about the way i looked and so much about what other people thought of me now to look at myself as a person who doesn't really care anymore and yes i still get those days where i'm not feeling myself but now when i get those days i can remind myself that i'm worthy because of so many other things that has nothing to do with the way i look wherever you are in your journey i hope you can feel that too one day it feels so so good to finally like look at yourself in the mirror and like who you see i'm really happy for olivia because she really glued up like she glowed up but from the inside and that's the best glow up you can do for yourself i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for talking with me bye